Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gonzi and today we're going to be reacting to a new Casual Geographic video called When Stupidity Goes Viral with a wholesome twist at the end. So yeah man, let's go. And man's fresh bro. Come on, look at the trim big man. That's my barber bro. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, boy. I tell you about it, Monkey strong. I did say, if it's something it's like this ever flips a switch, it's gonna be a bad time boy. for everyone. No. But it took this ginger gorilla getting his lick back on camera for y'all to believe me. Yep. Nah, but like, all jokes aside, orangutans aren't aggressive, nope. like, at all. Like, They're really friendly, God, actually. Designed them for that because it would be terrifying. But orangutans almost never choose violence, not even with each other. The only time you'll see an orangutan get active is if a male runs into another adult male, and even then it's a bunch of bluffing and displaying and just being loud to prove a point. Hands rarely get thrown. In fact, there are no recorded cases of a wild orangutan killing a human. They're just plus-size pacifists. So one of two things happened here. One, that's an orangutan trying to play. Or two, mm. and I'm willing to bet money this is what actually happened. The man was provoking the orangutan, oh, yeah. an idiot, and getting For in sure. his face, but the person behind the camera didn't hit record until the orangutan decided he had enough. For sure. And in situations like this, I'm always going to look at the guy outside the cage before I look at the animal in it. Yes. And also just personally, I don't love any article of clothing that much. I would have just negotiated my shirt, but you know that's Yeah, just, take your shirt off, bro. <laughs> Look at the strength of these Full animals, bro. To the whole orangutan yeah. debacle. Turns out I was right. Turns out this man, well, 19-year-old, hopped the enclosure fence and started taunting the big ape. Idiot. Literally for clout. Bro wanted to go viral and the orangutan said, yeah, I can show you the way. Yeah, Almost yeah. cost him an arm and a leg, but man's did numbers on Twitter. Not to mention the orangutan was on recruit difficulty, because I watched that whole video and I counted at least three times where he could have gotten his sh folded. Jokes aside, this pissed me off for a lot of reasons. First of all, if that orangutan would have killed him, not even, if he would have broken his arm, what do you think the headlines would have been? Probably something like, vicious orangutan goes crazy and brutally Yeah, man, it's so when disgusting. When it really should be, wannabe influencer gets exactly what he asked for as wild animal goes wild animal. Exactly. Not to mention, if it got to that point, the zoo 100% would have taken out the orang to save the guy. Mm -hmm. Even though orangutans are endangered and dumbasses on the internet are kind of overpopulating. Yep. And I just know Harambo is watching from the beyond. All like, facts. Ain't that some bullshit? It takes years for keepers to gain the trust of an animal like that, and this man managed to destroy it all in less than 10 seconds. I'll say one thing though, he it chose is. the right ape to try this with. If yeah. he would have tried the gimmicks with a gorilla, <laughs> try that with a gorilla with chimp, bro. Chimp? See how it goes. Yeah, none of us would have seen Idiot, it. man. Dick At least bro. not without a tour browser, because this would have turned into Poor a Poor animal, film. man. Now, what if I told you someone managed to do something even stupider than this? I believe you, Warning, bro. This will piss you off. Beat this woman whose name I'm not going to say, because I don't want to get sued. And she didn't just get too close to an enclosure. Nah, she decided to walk up in it like she paid rent. Whoa. So two things. One, this was in Texas, so Florida, you can Of punch. course. And two, oh. those are spider monkeys. Mm -hmm. This is a spider monkey. I don't know what kind of game she thinks she's playing, but she could have lost badly. One wrong move and they could have her looking like she could unlock Voldemort's phone. Oh and goodness. if that weren't enough, which Idiots. obviously was, she even decided to feed the monkeys Cheetos. Not even like of the original course. one. Nah, she went flaming hot. I don't think I need to tell you why that's bad. Then again, someone like her is able to vote, so... Yeah, they tell you not to feed wild animals because the food we eat can make them violently sick, especially if it's flaming hot. The woman was kicked out of the zoo and allegedly charged with criminal trespass. She also lost her job at a law firm, which at first made me happy, but then made me seriously question just how she got that far. Yep. And I think about it, that's probably where she got her lawyers from. You know who she is, I don't gotta say her name. And after going viral, she Idiot. swiftly received the online spanking that comes with it. After all the backlash, she finally released a statement where she was actually apologetic and really seemed to understand the gravity of you. You know I'm lying, right? Yeah. Nah, instead, this woman who somehow survived 20 years. Of course, you did nothing wrong, you did fucking wrong bitch. In her words, fuck off. Nobody my. got hurt. It I'm is. Sure, the monkeys wish they could have that one back, but she did learn at least one valuable lesson: to keep her Cheetos to herself. My mom doesn't like when I curse on the internet, so I'm gonna end it right there. Oh if you've seen God. this tiger before, Idiot. you've probably been lied to. This tiger went viral a few years ago for having Down syndrome, which caused mm. obvious facial deformities. People love this pug-faced predator so much that they used him to spread awareness. Except, he never had it, and the truth was actually way worse. Humans, See, the bro. thing is, white tigers are rare, like 1 in 10,000 type rare, and most don't survive longer than a year in the wild because if you can't camouflage, you're probably gonna starve. Mm -hmm. White tigers are also really popular for animal traffickers selling them on the very much illegal exotic pet market. Yeah, screw those guys, by the way. Yep. So the easiest Fuck way those. to breed white tigers is to have two white tigers hook up so their recessive genes can produce another white tiger. The problem mm -hmm. is, well, there's a lot of problems, actually, but the biggest one is that because Caucasian carnivores are so rare, the ones they breed are often related, which is oh. how they get more inbred than a yep. family reunion. Kenny the tiger didn't have Down syndrome. He was a twin-cess baby whose parents were siblings, and most of his actual siblings became past tense the moment they were born. 
The guy that bred him tried to lie and say he looked like that from smashing his face into a wall a bunch of times. Yeah, sure, him. man. Yeah. Kenny was rescued yeah, yeah. and taken to an animal sanctuary in Arkansas, along with his brother who was cross-eyed, because that's exactly the kind of thing that happens when you have an aunt, mom, and an uncle, dad. The sanctuary took care of Kenny for as long as they could until he eventually passed away at the age of 10 to melanoma. It's a sad story, but it could have been worse. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Kenny, you deserved way better than you R.I.P. Kenny, I'm getting chills, man. Rest in peace, Kenny. A lot of people sent me this, so I just wanted to point out two things. So I'm going to play it That's back and try and see if you can notice what it is. And then bring it back to me. It's a dance floor. So that slow blink is actually the universal sign that a cat is relaxed and at ease. We've seen this oh, with bigger okay. cats like lions and tigers. The chef, right? Bigger cats will use this as a gesture of trust. Mm. To the point where a lot of animal shelters will decide whether a cat's safe to handle based on whether it slow blinks or not. And it works both ways. You can pretty much slow blink at your pet cat and it's like their version of a smile. And the second thing is right at the end the jaguar rolled over on her back. The underbelly is the most vulnerable part of a cat, so oh. them exposing it like that is the ultimate that, sign of that cat trust It doesn't always mean right. they want you to touch them, it's more them trying to tell you that they're comfortable around you. I don't know what you did, but keep doing it, because that cat loves you. So yep. King Julian would actually be a queen. And not in like a yassified oh. way, but in real life, ringtail lemur society is female dominated. Mm -hmm. Lady lemurs All assert right. their dominance by bullying the low ranking males at every opportunity. And they usually do this by chasing them around, grabbing them, and biting them. But their favorite way to flex on the males is by straight up snatching any food out of their hands. Or in this case, a stick. And they don't even have to be hungry, sometimes they'll go out of They're their way cute, to do it just for the They're really cute. At all. Also, lemurs smell so bad that they manage to weaponize it. As oh, in they'll wow. rub their scent glands all over their tails as a way to build their ammo and then pretty much just throw their body odor around. Also, they're much more homicidal than the movie wants you to believe. There was a study done on a thousand animals to see which one was more likely to kill their own kind. Meerkats were number one, since about 90% yep. of meerkat deaths were caused by another meerkat. Yeah, I knew lemurs that one. were not far behind, with up to 17% of lemur obituaries being co-signed by their own kind. And a lot of it comes from females kidnapping and abandoning babies and males straight up aborting them. Oh. The of this video, Damn. King Julian oh. was a hyper-homicidal, child-endangering, BO-blasting drag queen. So you yep. probably know the story of Harambe, but not uh, the Harambe. story of Jumbo. So this goes all the way back to 1986. Five-year-old Levin Merritt was excited to go to the zoo with his family. But when he got to the gorilla pen, bro got a little too excited. While leaning over to get a better look, he lost his balance and fell 20 feet straight down. Damn. Breaking his arm, fracturing his skull, and knocking himself out cold. When Levin regained consciousness, he awoke to Jumbo, a 400 pound silverback gorilla looming over him. The kid understandably screamed and that momentarily freaked out Jumbo and witnesses thought this was going to end in the worst way possible. Jumbo protectively stood over the child and had been gently oh. stroking his back as he was unconscious. Jumbo even kept other gorillas away when they got curious and tried approaching the boy. It became clear to everyone that Jumbo was protecting Levin like he was one of his twins. Oh my kids. god, I'm getting oh, chills, yeah, Jumbo man. was like that. When Levin started oh crying, Jumbo god, calmly led Jesus. the other gorillas to a small hut in the other corner of the pen, which was when paramedics were able to rescue the boy who ended up making a full recovery. Nice. But the funny thing is, this incident might have saved gorillas in general, because back then people were terrified of and even hated gorillas. King Kong didn't help. But after the video of Jumbo looking after the fallen boy went viral, and this was back in the 80s, viral was a big deal. Mm -hmm. The public perception of gorillas did a full 180. Now you're probably wondering what was the difference between this and Harambe, and the answer is actually depressing. With Harambe, people were screaming, throwing objects to distract him, and all they were doing was freaking the big ape out even more. Harambe got yeah, agitated, and that's why they ended up doing what they did. Had the people not screamed at him, Harambe wouldn't have gotten so agitated, he'd still be alive, and the pandemic never would have happened. So I actually have a lot of thoughts on the Harambe situation, yeah. And you're Ooh, shout out Jumbo, bro. I'm getting chills, man. Fair play Jumbo, bro. And people stop being assholes around animals, bro. Probably not gonna like them. So if you don't know about Harambe, give the phone back to your mom. TikTok's no place for a five-year-old. The nope. Spark Notes version. Kid fell into gorilla pen. Gorilla goes up to the kid. Gorilla starts getting agitated. Zoo officials got a rifle and ended it. Mm -hmm. The gorilla, not the... Yeah. Yeah. And the big question is, should they have murked Harambe, especially when he didn't seem like an immediate threat to the child? Here's the thing. They could have tranquilized him, but that easily could have backfired. Think about yeah, it, it it's already more a stressful agitated. environment. You got people screaming and throwing things at you, and that's after a child-shaped object just got airdropped into your living room. Yep. Getting shot with a trank would only amp him up even more. I want y'all to watch this video. Animals don't understand what a tranquilizer is. As far as they're concerned, you just tried them. Yep. And in the five minutes you shot at where Karambi could have raised absolute hell. And if a 400 pound Harambe seriously injured or even deleted the kid, that zoo is done for. Thus, technically, the kid shouldn't have been able to get into the gorilla enclosure in the first place. It's stupid, but it's like a balcony. 
You shouldn't have to tell a fully functional human being not to jump off a balcony. Mm -hmm. If one does and there are no rails, the owner of that building is still getting slapped with a violation. Yep. So if a three-year-old managed to get into the gorilla pen and then got deleted while there are armed zoo officials present, that zoo is finished. The zoo would get sued to oblivion and all the animals would get relocated and have to find a new place. And as an animal with a human body count, Harambe would almost certainly get turned into a hashtag anyway. Mm -hmm. It sounds like I'm taking the zoo side here, I'm not. In a situation that messed up, there is no right answer. Someone was gonna lose. Just sucks that the someone had to be the animal whose only crime was literally just being an animal. But yeah, glad I didn't pull the trigger. You're absolutely yeah. right, and I was saving this story for last on purpose. This is Binti Joa. She's a western lowland gorilla, which actually happens to be critically endangered. Also, she's the niece of this gorilla, Coco. Didn't know that before. Mm -hmm. This story goes all the way back to 1996 in the Brookfield Zoo just outside Chicago. A small child was excited to see the gorillas and as a result, fell into the enclosure 25 feet straight down. Hey, How so many fetuses end up in gorilla pens is beyond me. The three-year-old broke his hand, was knocked out, and was bleeding heavily out the side of his face. And while all the other gorillas seemed confused and unsure of what to do, Binti went right up to the fallen boy. To everyone's shock, Binti, who was already a mother at this point, oh, cradled the injured boy in her arms and even seemed like she was looking around for someone to help. Then, with her own 17-month-old hanging on her back, Binti carried him across the enclosure over to a door where zookeepers could get to him and gently laid him down. But here's the part a lot of people don't realize. As a new mother, Binti had learned to hand off her newborn daughter over to zookeepers so they could get her examined by vets. Mm -hmm. Binti did the same exact thing here, treating this boy she'd never met before like he was one of her own. But there might be another reason why she did this. You see, Binti was actually abandoned by her own mother when she was born Whoa, and had to be hand-raised by humans. And when Binti became a mom, it was those same people that taught her how to care for her baby by using dolls. This story didn't just go viral, it went mid-90s viral, and it almost single-handedly changed the way a lot of people see gorillas. And in case you were wondering, Binti is still very much alive in the same Brooklyn nice. Zoo where she turned 34 in March. As for the baby gorilla on her back while she saved the little boy, that was her daughter Kula, who's 25 now and has a baby of her own. Which makes Binti a grandmother. God bless you, Binti. God bless you, Binti. Jesus. Bro, that, I don't know if you can see. I, I think you can't. Bro, I'm full of chills in my legs and everything. Jesus. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, man. Another casual geographic banger. It's just incredible. Bro is awesome. And the last week, last week's one, it's going crazy, bro. It's like what 150 views on something like that, bro. It's crazy right now thank you lot so much out there man i love you guys it's been incredible to support man like i've said before i'm enjoying the journey more than i had a, than i ever thought i would before i get i got my life together bro i was just focused on the on the destination like how am i getting there how and now that i'm more laid back on life i'm enjoying my life a whole lot more like it's not even comparable i just love the way i am the person that i am right now i love my life I, oh man it's just phenomenal stuff all glory to god for being here and to allow me to experience this change in my life and thank you guys out there as well man because when i see a video go nuts like last week's videos it's phenomenal whether they go or not i'm I, I can distance myself from that, but when they go nuts, I get even more happier than I was. So yeah, man, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And if you're here, you know what to do, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Gonzi. Have a phenomenal week and I love you and goodbye. Well, you have to been through this, been through that, reminiscing on my past. I found bliss in the way that I carry on my back. Let my soul sing my song. It goes. Oh, na, 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 na.